Round four of the Super Nationals final about to get underway. Jason Bleasdale, Paige Bellaby and Slamir Volok on the front row. Lee Keeler is on the own on his road two. Ready to race board is on. The final for the Super Nationals is underway. Good start from Bellaby. Great start from Volok on the outside. Bleasdale left standing and down into third place by the first corner. So it's Bellaby from Volok, from Bleasdale, from Lee Keeler as they come through the second turn there. So not a good start from Bleasdale as he led the way. He goes Joker first lap, decides to cut his losses early. But now that gives a clear track in front for Paige Bellaby. So what is Bellaby going to be able to do? Can she take another win in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here? Slamir Volok will try and do everything he can behind the wheel of his BMW, but I spoke to him earlier on today. I was asking him why he's been struggling so far here compared to Lyndon Hill, and he said it's the long wheelbase, it's the BMW. It's so much bigger than the agile and nimble Lotus Exiges and the Vauxhall VX220s that I've just got no room to be able to use that power because it's such a tighter nagery circuit at points and it's really costing me in the tight and twisty sections. Whereas the likes of Paige Bellaby and Jason Bleasdale in their Vauxhall VX220s are like spring lambs by all accounts coming through these uh, parts of the circuit. Going Joker then is Slamir Volok. Where's he going to emerge? Lee Keeler also follows Stute. Volok emerges ahead of Jason Bleasdale. And that will be so disappointing for Bleasdale because he has driven so well so far today, taking wins in the first two heats, finishing second in the third heat. But when it counts in the final, of course, the podium positions, he is going to finish in third place if it stays as it is. But Bellaby is going to try and do everything she can to hold on to that race lead. Now Volok has got some clear track in front of him. Is he going to be able to overhaul Bellaby or is it going to be a bit of a too little, too late scenario? Let's see what happens then. We're already at the start of lap two for the Super Nationals and Bleasdale is over the rear wing of Slamir Volok then like a bad rash trying to find his way through. No opportunity presenting itself so far for the man in third position, Jason Bleasdale, onto the tight and twisty section. This is where we should see that Vauxhall VX220 beginning to come into its own, but no such luck for him to be able to find a way past. Still plenty of opportunity for him to do so though, and this is the moment where he's gonna be thinking about where he's gonna strike and when he's going to strike as well. If he only wants to make the one move, you don't wanna do that too soon, of course, but Bleasdale really closing up on the brakes. He's like a housefly compared to the heavy and cumbersome BMW by comparison. It's so quick in a straight line, that BMW, but you can see through the corners is where he's really struggling, and Bleasdale is really looking like the more agile of the two drivers, and certainly the driver with the more pace compared to the pole. So coming through the first section we go, these two drivers have already jokered, so it's going to be an out and out fight, and here's going to be an opportunity potentially for Bleasdale, has a bit of a sneaky look up the inside on the gravel, but decides to think better of it and wait another day. Plenty of time for him in this race to try and make his moves and when he's going to think about it. The thing is, he needs to do that in a tight and twisty section where that Vauxhall is quicker because down the back straight is not where he is going to have enough of an advantage because, of course, that VX220 is just a bit slower in a straight line compared to the BMW. Meanwhile, Paige Bellamy leads on lap four. Volok, though, coming under pressure from Bleasdale once more. This is where Bleasdale was strong last time around on the brakes into T1. No way through there as Volok covers the inside line. Bleasdale is going to have to think about this really carefully here. He doesn't want to do anything too rash too soon. On the gravel section in the tight and twisty could be an opportunity. Here comes Bleasdale up the inside. He takes out one of the bollards there, but doesn't get ahead of Volok crucially there as well. So Volok defending and making that BMW as wide as possible, but he goes wide himself at the hairpin but he's got the traction and the power to be able to overhaul and outpace that VX220 down the back straight. But on the brakes, the lighter and more agile VX220 can brake later, he can brake harder, and he can close that deficit down. This is very exciting stuff through the left-hander. We're on the penultimate lap. Paige Bellaby's going to have this one sewn up. She's going to go joker before too long, possibly on this lap, if not the next, of course. So let's see what's going to happen in the battle for second place. Bellaby continues on her normal lap, goes joker then on the final lap as it will stand. But Volok is really doing a great job, the Polish driver, of holding up the pressure of Jason Bleasdale, the number 67. This is a fantastic sort of David versus Goliath battle. Think to minis and Mustangs, what we used to see in the British Touring Car Championship. This is, I guess, akin to that in the British Rallycross Championship, if you like. Two cars that are set up very differently, designed differently as well. One designed for lightness and agility, the other designed for straight line speed. And you can see that straight line speed not proving to be a dividend here for them. Contact between Bleasdale and Bollock into the first turn. Up the inside comes Bleasdale for second. 
great driving there from Bleasdale. It was aggressive, it was forceful, and it was brilliant. He's through into P2 then. Fantastic stuff. Bellamy emerges from the Joker in the race lead then. So Bellamy's got this one sewn up on the final lap. If Paige can just hold on to this one, let's not forget she's the reigning champion, of course, in the Super National class. She won it over our three-round COVID-affected 2020 running of the championship, and she is asserting her authority once again in 2021. The engine coming up, cover coming up there for Jason Bleasdale as well. So clearly that contact with Volek was a bit more robust than you might have thought. But Bellamy comes over the line to win the Super National Final for round four of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here in Pembrey. It's Bellamy on top from Bleasdale, from Slamir Volek. Brilliant racing up and down the field. Lee Keeler will come home in P4 and last on the road in the Super National class. The only front wheel drive car in the field and a newly developed car as well at that. But Paige Bellamy wins again here in Pembrey. Number 33 is on top in the Super National class in Wales.